Legal highs and club drugs can ruin your life. Just because it says they're legal doesn't mean they're not dangerous. You could end up becoming the next statistic without even realizing you're in danger. Why gamble with your life? Hester Stewart was a 21-year-old award-winning medical student. She died after taking a mixture of alcohol and GBL, given to her by a friend after an awards ceremony. Hester went home from that evening and took what was then a legal high called GBL. She fell asleep, fell into a coma and never woke up. And I never saw my best friend again. This girl in the tattoo is Louise Cattell. She was one of my best mates. 21-year-old talented artist who drowned in the bath after taking more ketamine than her body could cope with. Legal highs and club drugs cause so much harm to you, mentally and physically. Olivia began taking legal highs before she moved to Ketan. The reality hit quite fast. Like I started taking K every day and um, got ill very quickly, basically. Um, started to get bladder problems like cramps and needing the loo every five minutes, just looked rubbish. It was just a mess, basically. You only have to look at the recent stories in the press to see how legal highs and club drugs are ruining people's lives on such a regular basis. Joe Bennett was a 17-year-old student who died September 2012 after being in a coma for four weeks as a result of inhaling butane, which he thought was a legal high. Doug Ferguson was a 19-year-old medical student who took the legal high AMT died while celebrating the end of his first university year. Adam Hunt, aged 18 from Southampton, died after taking alpha methyltryptamine, sold as AMT, which he purchased online. It could happen to anyone. You could be next. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it's safe. Why gamble with your life? The content of these substances is changing on a daily basis. Why not find out.org will keep you up to date with the danger they pose.